What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. And with that being said, I'm going to get right into this topic. Uh, recently, I was watching uh, Shannon Sharp and uh, what's a guy named uh, Chad Ochocinco, and they was talking about Travis Hunter, right? Travis Hunter is the uh, wide receiver slash cornerback for the Colorado Buffaloes, and he plays both ways. He played offense and defense for Colorado. And a lot of people are saying that uh, Travis Hunter will be able to play both ways in the uh, in the NFL, and uh, uh, Shannon Sharp said, "No way, right? No way that this could happen." Um, because number one is it's too exhausting, right? Physically, you 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 can't go on a uh, you know on a ten play or or eight play drive, you know, as a wide receiver, and then. If y'all score or whatever happened, once you you know you lose, the, you turn the ball over, then you want to go back on on defense as a cornerback and then go up against you know these all these great wide receivers that are in the league. And so, with that being said, I have to agree with Shannon Sharp and uh, Chad Ochocinco. That that's just like that's a tall order. Um, and personally, I, I I've never seen it done like. They're talking about not playing like, like playing like a total of like forty snaps on each side of the on each side of the ball. You know that's that's just a lot of that's just a lot, man. You know, and you're talking about doing this with with guys who are like in tip top condition. Number one, and number two, if if you, I think if you want, if he was wanting to succeed or excel. At either position, like if he wanted to play cornerback and excel at that, then he really would have to focus on that because you, he can get away with doing that at Colorado, playing both sides of the ball because he is a um, he's an excellent athlete, right? But the level of play at Colorado is nowhere near what he's going to see at the NFL level. Um, do you know everybody at the NFL level is fast? Everybody is quick. Then you had, uh, you know, uh, these dudes study film, they are very intelligent. So you really have to be focused on your craft, and you have to really, uh, you really have to make sure that you, you know, you are on point. If you have a, a lapse on defense, you can cost your team, you know, I mean, you can cost your team the game, and the same thing on offense, you know, it, you know, you. you you just can't, um, you know, you, you you just can't take that for granted. You talk about some of the best athletes, you know, in, in the world when you talk about, you know, trying to go be a two-way player. Um, they also made the point that, you know, not even Deion Sanders, you know, he played, he played, cornerback was his primary position. And then so every once in a while he'll come out, and play offense, but he couldn't do that on a consistent basis. You know, he couldn't come out and play wide receiver on a consistent basis because the sport is just too physical and it's just too demanding. You know, um, I think it's it, that conversation is is cool, like you know, for like a water cooler, water cooler type conversation. Um, but for somebody to be able to play offense and defense at that level, I think. Just like Chad Ochocinco said, I think that's, you know, it's virtually impossible. You know, you have players who play offense and especially like a wide receiver. If, if you go like on a deep route, you know, or, or you, you sprint down the field every, uh, or, you know, every after every snap, they need a break. You know, they tapping their helmets to come out the game. And that's just on one side of the ball. So no way, in my opinion, will Travis Hunter be able to play both sides of the ball, you know, uh, for a full game at the NFL level. I, I just don't think it, it it'll it'll happen. You know, I, I just don't see that happening. Uh, I think if he he did try something like that. Like I said, he'll probably miss an assignment, cause turnovers, or he even he may just wear himself down and get hurt. You know, I remember uh, Bo Bo Jackson. You know, play two sports, and and, and uh, I just think that 
to play two different sports, I think it's different. You know, that's even difficult to play baseball and football. Deion Sanders also played baseball and football. Um, you know, uh, you know, and those two guys, Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders, were exceptional athletes. And um, most people say that that Travis Hunter is not as good a football player as uh, Deion Sanders was. And and Deion Sanders was like, you know, like I said, an exceptional athlete. Um, yeah, I don't think Travis Hunter is going to be able to do it. Um, let me know what you think. If you think Travis Hunter will be able to do that at the next level, uh, play both sides of the ball. And uh, be sure to leave a comment. With that being said, I'll check you all out on the next video. Peace.